Oh, so has there ever been one point, I'm like in your music career, I'm like, you just wanted to give up? Yes, um, a lot of times I wanted to give up, but the first drive was Shorty. I wanted to keep her name alive. So, you know, I could have been a rap artist since we were kids because I rapped the baby first. Before she got a chance to rap the baby, I rapped the baby first. Baby wanted to sign me, for those that don't know, um, FYI. I rapped the baby first um, when we were young and a lot of that C-A-L-L-I-O-P-E. I made that, I created that, I started that. That's what I used to rap at DJs, for those that don't know, FYI. Um, but I just feel like it wasn't my time. There's a time for everything. It's a time for everything and I supported her, I backed her, and I was there for her through it all. You know, it's nothing that I didn't do for her in the music industry, from dancing for her, from helping writing lyrics, from sitting up day and night, from pushing her, encouraging her, you know, just praying with her and everything just to keep her going. So when she died, I really didn't want to step to it, but you know, it happened overnight and it's like, Everything was for her, for her, to keep her alive, to keep her name alive. Everything that I believed in her for, I wanted to do it to keep going, but it never was something that I wanted to do. Rapping, I never wanted to be a rapper, but here I am, you know, and not just keeping her name not alive, but more of inspiring other women, inspiring other people, and just being, you know, positive and keeping a positive vibe, you know, because you really don't get that in the music industry, especially New Orleans Bounce. Like, I'm never in a mix of this, you know, of, of that, or whatever they have going on. You'll never hear my name in a mix. You'll never hear my name in a mess. The confusion, me battling with somebody, hating on somebody, or, you know, disrespecting somebody, or whatever. I stay in my lane, and I create my own lane, and I have my own thing going because I'm here for a purpose. I'm not here to play. I'm not here to hate on nobody. I have a purpose, and I'm going to drive through with my purpose, and I'm going to fulfill my purpose before I close my eyes. Okay. Also, tell the people... Who do I probably know are like people who are, are like other people or who probably are like never met her? Tell people are like what Magnolia Shardy actually meant to the city of New Orleans and to you. Well, she meant a lot to the city of um, New Orleans, but I feel like she meant more to me because the people look for her. For, you know, I hear people saying, like, if they want a certain song or, you know, if it's a certain vibe that they're looking for, they'll be like, oh, man, I wish Shorty was here. But I, I wish she was here for so many other reasons, you know, not just because of music or not just because of what she can do a great benefit for her to me. You know, like, um, we grew up real close, more like sisters than anything. We shared a lot of visions. We cried. We, we prayed. We did a lot. Actually, when we were young, we had our own choir. For some people that don't know, that's thinking that I'm just, you know, starting to do inspiration and gospel music. We actually had our own choir, and we used to go into churches and rap and sing at a young age. But it's just that I was more bold and courageous than her. You know, she was, like, more on, like, a shy walk of it. I was always more bold with it. But um, she's, she was my everything. Like, you know, she was my everything, my right hand, you know. It wasn't nothing that I didn't do or nothing that she didn't do that we didn't know about it, that we shared a lot of secrets. And, you know, we was always there to support each other and to push each other, no matter if, you know, we could spend a week apart. When we get back together, you know, it's all love. It's everything, you know. We never, we never too far apart from each other. So to the world, you know, they may miss her for her music, but her name and her sound is still out here. And I thank God for that because every time I hear it, I think about all the great things that I used to tell her, like, girl, you big, you bigger than what you could even imagine. You know, I used to tell her to separate herself and how to do this and how to do that, but it's just like some things she really didn't get. And when she died and I began to see everything that I had spoken to her, like it really broke me down, you know, it really broke me down. And I really cried and I used to, I always look up to the sky and say, girl, I told you, you know, what you were. Because a lot of people didn't really believe in Shorty. They knew the gift she had. A lot of people slept on her. A lot of people used to mess over. And that's why I just sit there and listen to people saying, oh, me and Shorty was going to do this. Or Shorty this and Shorty that. But when Shorty was here, y'all didn't give her flowers while she was here. Right. You know, y'all didn't appreciate her while she was here. It took her to die for everybody to appreciate her music, to appreciate her and what she brought to this culture. But I just want to let everybody in the world know that she had been everything before she even deceased. And just to see that she approved it, you know, and her name is still going, her legacy is still going. You know, rest in peace, Shorty. She's still here. She's still here. Her vibe, everything is still here. You know, and just to hear that to make me smile and want to keep going forward as well.